Our planet is full of magnificent wonders, with stunning natural formations that show the true beauty and variety of the natural world. There are some features, though, that are completely unexpected, from strange rivers and mysterious desert structures to hidden ice chambers and eerie volcanoes. Get ready to be awestruck and amazed as we take a journey to explore the top 15 unbelievable places on Earth that actually exist. Number 15. Kwangsi Falls, Laos. The Kwangsi Falls, which are around 18 miles to the south of the city of Luang Prabang in central Laos, is a complex waterfall formation that, because of the bedrock in the region, is developed in a highly unusual way. It's actually a three tiered waterfall, which are at first a series of shallow pools on the cliff edge that ultimately lead to the main fall, which has a drop of around 200 feet or 60 meters. As soon as you see this place, it becomes clear why it's one of the most popular relaxation spots for tourists in the country. The water is clear and turquoise, and virtually every angle makes for a perfect photo opportunity. Beyond the falls themselves, the area is covered in lush vegetation and jungle to explore. Well, you'll also have the chance to walk through a wildlife and bear sanctuary. Where there are animals that have been rescued from poachers and traffickers, as well as an incredible butterfly park with thousands of brightly colored insects. If you're in Laos and visit the falls, expect for time to vanish before you know it. Despite the site's popularity, you're guaranteed to be able to find a calm, peaceful, and serene spot where you can lie back, relax, and let all the problems in the world drift away. Number 14. Sosusle, Namibia Found in the southern region of the Namib Desert within Namibia, Sosufle is a place that not only became one of the country's most visited places, but has also regularly been used as the backdrop for movies because of the almost unbelievable way that it looks. It's actually a place where the natural ground level is markedly lower than the surrounding desert, and this has led to the development of some rather unusual features. The name translates to mean dead-end marsh because it used to be the endpoint of a drainage basin where water collected because it had nowhere else to go, and the impact of this can still be seen to this day. While the sand in the depression is itself a slightly lighter shade than the rest of the desert, the thing that makes Sosuzle truly unique are the dunes that surround it. They're some of the largest sand dunes in the world, and because they aren't subjected to wind erosion to the extent that dunes are elsewhere, they're virtually permanent structures. There are a lot of dunes in the region that are taller than 650 feet or 200 meters, but the one that stands out the most is called Big Daddy and is around 1,066 feet or 325 meters high. Amazingly, the sands that make up the dunes are in some cases more than 5 million years old. Some have been compressed so much under their own weight that they actually become petrified and have turned into rock. Number 13. The Spotted Lake, Canada Found in the Simelkameen Valley in British Columbia, Canada, the Spotted Lake is unlike any lake you've ever seen before. At around a half a mile or three quarters of a kilometer long and a sixth of a mile or a quarter of a kilometer wide, the position of the lake within the surrounding valley means that it's filled by water that's run off the peaks and has gathered large concentrations of minerals as it flows down. The lake, therefore, has unusually high levels of magnesium sulfate, calcium, sodium sulfates, silver, titanium, and various other materials. And this causes a strange effect when the water starts to evaporate in the heat of the summer. The minerals are left behind and begin to form colorful deposits that look like large spots on the surface of the lake. The minerals harden to such an extent that they create natural pathways that you can walk across to see the structures close up. But in recent years, this has been discouraged, and visitors are instead left to view the lake from the other side of a perimeter fence. This is because the lake has long been a site of spiritual importance to the First Nations of the Okanagan Valley, and was seen as a sacred place because of the therapeutic effects of the waters. In order to preserve the place for future generations, the decision was therefore taken to limit access to everyone. Number 12. Hinatuan Enchanted River, Philippines Deep within the jungle of the Philippines, there is a mysterious river known as the Hinatuan Enchanted River that seems to magically appear out of the ground and flow into the Pacific Ocean. This in itself may not be too unusual, but what's special about this place is that the water is incredibly clear and a stunning blue color, something that's led to it being a central part of local folklore. The river's actually only just a short distance from where it emerges to where it meets the ocean, so it barely counts as being a river in its own right. But what makes it mystical is that no one's entirely sure where the water comes from. It's believed that it emerges out of a vast underground cave network, 
normally you'd expect it to be full of silt and material, so there must be something that's filtering it before it reaches the surface. Locals have long believed it's the work of fairies who cleanse the water and add sapphires and jade to give it a vivid coloration. There are also rumors that it's home to a type of fish that's impossible to catch. As word spread of this wondrous place, visitors travel from around the world to see it for themselves, and the authorities have had to take steps to protect it. It's now forbidden to enter the main 80-foot or 24-meter deep pool, but there's a secondary pool nearby that you're allowed to swim in. Number 11. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia Located in the Daniel Campos province of southwest Bolivia, the Salar de Uyuni is the largest salt flat in the world. It covers an area of 3,900 square miles, or about 10,000 square kilometers, and is close to the highest ridge of the Andes mountain range at an altitude of about 12,000 feet. In prehistoric times, around 30,000 years ago, the region was covered by a vast lake, which over time began to shrink and turned into several lakes, which themselves have since evaporated. The sediment that they left behind is turned into a salt crust that's several feet thick, and the surface is now unbelievably flat, changing elevation by a maximum of three feet across its entirety. This vast, flat region makes it ideal to calibrate the altimeters of satellites that look back down towards the Earth, and also leads to the development of another strange feature. When it rains, a thin layer of water settles on the surface that creates a region around 80 miles across, and for a time becomes the largest reflective mirror on Earth. Not only is it a stunning feature, but the local economy relies heavily on the salt flat. Salt miners dig huge blocks of material from the ground to sell around the country and the world. And the pool hidden beneath the salt crust contains high concentrations of minerals and elements such as lithium that are also extracted. Number 10. The Great Blue Hole, Belize When they form on land, sinkholes can cause havoc to nearby communities, but when they occur on the ocean floor, they create incredible structures known as blue holes. One of the most incredible ones to have ever been discovered is simply known as the Great Blue Hole and can be found at a small atoll called Lighthouse Reef, which is around 43 miles off the coast of Belize in the Caribbean Sea. It's an almost perfectly circular shape that's around 1,000 feet or 318 meters across and 407 feet or about 124 meters deep. And while it may look impressive from the surface, it's equally as amazing beneath the water surface. That's because the hole actually formed when sea levels were much lower, around 150,000 years ago. Because of the way water levels have raised and lowered since, a series of stalactite formations have developed within the hole and the caves that are connected to its walls. Famed oceanic explorer Jacques Cousteau visited the Great Blue Hole in 1971 and declared it to be one of the best scuba diving sites in the world, where divers are treated to pristine and calm waters while being surrounded by a wealth of life such as parrotfish, reef sharks, and countless other species. Number 9. The Silfra Rift, Iceland It's long been known that rather than being just one solid piece, our planet's surface is instead made up of a series of tectonic plates that are continually pushing and pulling against one another. This is the way that most earthquakes and volcanoes form, but because of the amount of sediment that's above the actual plates, it's rare to actually see them exposed at the surface. Following a particularly violent earthquake, it may be possible to find a visible crack that's formed through the landscape, but there's one place in the world where you can swim between two tectonic plates and put a hand on either side. Known as the Silfra Rift, it's in the Pinkatlavad Lake in Iceland, and this is where North American and Eurasian tectonic plates are diverging. They move around 0.7 inches further apart each year, and it's possible to dive into three fissures that this activity has created. The largest, known as the Citadel, is around 330 feet or 100 meters long, and because it's filled with crystal clear water, you can see everything with an amazing degree of clarity. There's something quite overwhelming about being able to touch the far edge of two unfathomably huge land masses that are pulling away from each other, and it's perhaps no surprise that this is one of the most popular dive sites in the country. Number 8. Dalol, Ethiopia just from seeing images of the Dalal hydrothermal system in Ethiopia, you'd be forgiven for thinking that you were looking at the landscape on a distant alien world. But despite the unusual colorations and strange formations, this is most definitely a place on our own planet. Located within the Danakil Depression, which is formed because it's the site where three tectonic plates are diverging from each other, this is a place of heightened geologic activity. At the center is a cinder cone volcano, but it's the region around this peak that's most interesting. There are countless hot springs in the area which release brine and scorching acidic liquid, 
These fluids have, over the past century, released deposits that have formed the unusual-looking structures. Geysers occasionally develop too, which form large salt cones, and the presence of minerals that are rarely seen on the surface are what form the vivid colors. Day to day, Dalal can look completely different, because the compounds that make up the colors begin to react with the oxygen in the air, and so change from bright greens and yellows to darker oranges and browns. While it may look beautiful, you do, however, have to avoid the temptation to swim in any of the pools. Not only are they extremely hot, but they're highly acidic, and a study in 2019 found that it's so inhospitable that there's no sign of any life forms in the ponds at all, something that in itself is incredibly rare on our planet. Number 7. The Marble Caves, Patagonia The southernmost part of the Andes mountain range, which stretches into Patagonia, is often regarded as one of the most beautiful regions in the world. Amongst the stunning peaks and valleys, there's one place that stands out, however, and that's known as Lake General Carrera. Found on the border between Argentina and Chile, it was formed many thousands of years ago by glacial activity, and in recent times, the action of the water against the surrounding calcium carbonate bedrock has carved some incredible features. Visitors are able to travel by boat across the perfectly azure waters and reach a network of caves that have become famous for their marble-like patterning. With swirls of pink and light blues adorning the walls, the colors you see are all the result of the reflection of the water below, so not two photographs will ever be the same. When the water levels are low enough, usually on cooler days when less ice is melted higher up in the mountains, you can pass through the network of caves and passages and be completely surrounded by them. There truly is nowhere else quite like this anywhere in the world, and it's more than worth the lengthy trip to reach the lake to experience it for yourself. Number 6. Pamukkale, Turkey Pamukkale, which means cotton castle in Turkish, is a natural thermal formation in southwestern Turkey. It's a series of terraces that are made up of a type of sedimentary rock called travertine that's been deposited in the region over a millennia by water that emerges through the 17 hot springs in the area. This water, which ranges from warm to boiling, cascades over the terraces and leaves a layer of calcium carbonate on them, which gives them their cotton-like appearance. In total, the formation is around 8,800 feet or 2,700 meters long, 1,900 feet or 600 meters wide, and 500 feet or 160 meters tall and can be seen from more than 15 miles away. It's such a beautiful place that, along with the way that some of the springs offer therapeutic benefits, Pamukkale has been a popular resort for many thousands of years. In fact, the ancient Greeks built a city on top of it called Hierapolis, which became one of the earliest spa cities in history. Able to accommodate several thousand people, the city has long fallen into ruin, but this also adds to the magic of the place and led to it being designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. There's now a museum you can visit to see how people have used Pamukkale over thousands of years. And while visitors are no longer allowed to bathe in the terraces, there's still plenty of opportunity to rest and relax, just like there's always been. Number 5. Sheraksbolten, Norway The slow and extraordinarily powerful movement of glaciers is responsible for moving huge swaths of landscape to produce some of the most spectacular scenery around the world. But while we mostly associate them with creating vast valleys and lakes, they have occasionally produced things that are far more unusual. Possibly the strangest of them all, though, is a rock called Sjeraksbolten, which is wedged into a mountain crevasse in Norway. The rock itself is around 180 cubic feet, or 5 cubic meters in size, and is held in place on either side above a 3,200-foot sheer drop in the valley below. It's become a popular tourist destination for those brave enough to stand on the rock for one of the most spectacular photographs you'll get anywhere on Earth. And it's also regularly used as a launch point for base jumpers. When it was first discovered, scientists struggled to explain how something like this could have happened. But as our knowledge of glacial activity has improved, the specific set of circumstances required are now fully understood. The region was, during the last ice age, completely covered in glaciers, and the sheer weight of all this ice actually bent the bedrock out of place. There's evidence all over the world of this, and a phenomenon called rebounding, whereby rock returns to its natural position when the ice recedes. And in the case of Sjeroksbolten, the process just happened to take place at the same time as a rock was being held in the gap by the last remaining pieces of the glacier. As the ice continued to melt, the two sides of the crevasse closed in on the rock, and by the time the ice had completely gone, the rock was firmly wedged in place. Number 4. Sahra Albeda, Egypt We all have an idea of what a sandy, hot desert looks like, 
and in the main, most of them share various features such as the golden sand, the temperature, and the formation of dunes. There's one place where things are quite different though, which is known as Shahra al-Baida, the white desert. Here, instead of being a golden color, all of the sand is almost perfectly white, something that's happened because of the unique geography of the area. It's in a place called the Farafra Depression in western Egypt and covers an area of approximately 1,100 square miles. Here, because it's separated from the rest of the desert, all of the sand and the structures have been formed from the bedrock, which, because it was once the site of a lake, is made up of chalk. Over thousands of years of erosion by wind and sand, the chalk has been worn away to produce more white sand and has left behind a series of large white structures. In a lot of ways, it looks like other deserts in the region, apart from being a different color, but this has a more significant effect than is originally apparent. Because the sand is white, it retains far less heat than the sand that's a darker color, and this has resulted in the white desert becoming a refuge for a number of endangered species, such as the rim gazelle or the Dorcas gazelle, fennec foxes and sand cats, and many more. Number 3. Mendenhall Ice Caves, Alaska From the surface, glaciers appear to be huge, solid mounds of ice, but as they move along the landscape, the ice doesn't just melt on the top, but at the base along the ground too. This, along with the way meltwater can further carve away at ice within the glacier, means that they're often full of caverns and internal structures. And while these are usually completely inaccessible from the outside, there are some places in the world where entrances have formed and grant access to the wonders that lie within. The 12-mile-long Mendenhall Glacier in southeast Alaska is one of the best places where this can be seen. At certain times of the year, it's possible to kayak to the side of the ice formation and climb over the edge to find a tunnel to access the inside. If you do, you'll be treated to a series of caves, all of which are illuminated by blue light that passes through the glacier above and reveal remarkable and ever-changing ice structures within. Unfortunately, the glacier itself has been in retreat for decades, and while this process also creates further ice caves, it means that the ice is increasingly unstable. Visitors have struggled to find an access point to the caves for several years now, but it's hoped that soon enough an opening will reveal itself and they'll be ready to explore once more. Number 2. Socotra, Yemen Every landmass in the world has its own unique flora and fauna, thanks to the way that once they separated from other continents, animals and plant species evolved independently of one another. This effect can be seen more clearly in some places than in others, based on how isolated the regions are, and one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, as well as one of the most bizarre, is an island called Socotra, which is part of the Socotra archipelago off the eastern coast of Africa. Officially a territory of Yemen, it's one of the most isolated land masses on Earth that was of continental origin, and it's been that way for millions of years. As a result, as much of a third of its plant and animal life is endemic, meaning that it's unlike anything seen anywhere else on Earth. There are types of skinks, legless lizards, chameleons, spiders, and crabs that have independently evolved there, as well as bats, fish, and crocodiles. One of the most amazing species, though, is a type of tree called the dragon's blood tree, so named because the shrub, which looks like an upturned umbrella, releases a deep crimson red sap from its bark and fruit. Number 1. Kawa'ijen Volcano, Indonesia When you think of an active volcano, the images that come to mind are usually those of orange magma that at nighttime glows with a fiery red color. But this isn't always the case. The Kawa'ijen Volcano in Indonesia, for example, emits an electric blue flame from its crater when it's dark, and it's one of the most unexpected and surreal sights you'll find anywhere on Earth. The reason for this strange color is the presence of sulfuric gas, which is released from fissures in the crater and ignites. Amazingly, these flames can be 16 feet or 5 meters high and appear to bubble because of the presence of liquid within them. The high concentrations of sulfur at the volcano also mean that there's an entire industry based on mines that export the element to customers around the world. It's one of the most dangerous jobs on the planet, though, because without adequate protection, workers inhale dangerous levels of the toxic gas each time they climb the mountain and literally put their lives on the line to earn a wage. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.